I'm Kevin from DTools, and in this video, I'm going to show you around System Integrator to help you get comfortable with the interface and better prepare you for our training sessions ahead. Okay, let's get started. This is the System Integrator homepage. Right here in the upper left corner, I can click Start, and this gives me access to all navigation capabilities within the software. So I can find things like section about projects where I can manage my projects or create a new project. For example, I can look at the schedule. I can look at time sheets. I can go to the purchasing module. I can review my catalog, right? Many different areas of the software all available from this menu. A couple of things that are specifically available here and not in other places would be the connect menu where I can actually disconnect from the server or reconnect to the server if I've lost my connection. Another menu that's only available here is the help menu where I can do things like go to our forum, create a support ticket, uh, provide feedback about the software, check for updates, or even register or view my registration information. And you'll see right here across the top of the window what is called a ribbon. Uh, these ribbons have a navigation options built in. You'll see these throughout the software to get you around to um, different places and to execute different commands. There's also one more navigation option. I like to think of this as a shortcut menu across the bottom of the screen. And anytime that you're in the SI application, you should see these options available to you. We have shortcuts for projects, for the schedule, uh, purchasing, catalog, uh, or the setup menu, as well as others. If I'd like to take a look at my list of projects, I can click right here on the Projects button, and that will open the Project Explorer, which is my list of projects. If I would like to take a look at uh, the calendar, I can click on the Calendar option. Now, there is an exception here. We're going to notice that the calendar opens in its own window, and it does not have this toolbar or this shortcut menu across the bottom. Um, that will only be active in the main application. But you can go ahead and open your catalog and uh, have it on a separate window so you can keep it available to you while you're working on other activities. You can look at things like purchase orders. This will open the Purchase Order Explorer where we can see all POs in the system. Next, we have our product catalog. So the catalog is our local repository of all the products that we sell. Um, we also just really quickly, we have a library that we can go to where we actually take a look at uh, a more than a million products that DTools makes available to users um, to add to your catalogs uh, to use in your system where you can browse through a list of manufacturers and uh, find the products that you need and download those directly into your catalog. And let's take a quick look at the control panel. I like to say that the control panel is the heart of the system, everything from company information to our user accounts, key information for our catalog, like labor and the manufacturers we use, price settings, tax settings, uh, project settings here, lots and lots of information that we're going to configure throughout our trainings to get the most out of system integrator and last there's a section here in the upper right corner with a few options you can see the user account information that you're logged in with you can activate our new dark mode feature there is a system of notifications that might be activated within your system and this is where you can see your notifications as well as uh, via email. Uh, there's recently viewed areas of the software. And the very last item is really valuable. If I click Learn More, it actually launches my browser and shows me a context-sensitive help menu that we manage online with all sorts of detailed information about uh, various features of the software. So that wraps up our tour of System Integrator. If you're currently working with the DTools team on getting SI set up and running for your company, now's a great time to return to your onboarding project in GuideCX to find your next topic and your next training video.